Greetings. Welcome to a new video. This is different from every other video on this channel because we're going to be looking at something. You can see it sliding in a frame there. Uh, it has to do with uh, cassette tapes. And that Motley Crue cassette is just a coincidence. That is not because uh, the movie just came out a few weeks ago. I genuinely do like Motley Crue. So, uh, we're going to be looking at this. Uh, this Panasonic R... This is model number uh, RQJ50. Found this today. And this is just like the essence of the 80s and 90s. Back when everybody carried one of these. I don't know if this is before the Sony Walkman or after it, but we're around the same time. Probably around the same time. Runs on just regular AA batteries. Nothing too fancy, so you don't have to carry around C cell batteries and all that fun stuff. Whenever it runs out, you just go grab some regular AA or AA batteries. Like pretty much everything else runs on <clears throat> nowadays, it runs batteries. So, this is it right here. Not much to it. You got the three buttons here, you got the play button, you got the eject button, I think it's also stop eject, and then you got the fast forward and your rewind for when you're. I know, I think that, yeah, this is fast, the one on the lower right is fast forward, this one's a rewind. I forgot about that. So, I'll show you how the eject button works. You're gonna take your cassette, whatever cassette you want. Slide it in, shut the thing, hit the play button, and then you stop, and then you can rewind. It doesn't automatically stop like a lot of them do. You just kind of have to guess when they're. Uh, when it's stop, or it'll stop, you'll hear it. You can actually lift that up while it's doing its thing. So that's stopped all the way. And the eject, put that back in, has a lot of pressure to it when the cassette's in there. Because uh, I guess you don't want to activate, accidentally hit it and eject your cassette when you're listening to music jamming out down the street. So, you can lift it up, and that little plastic thing in here is what's doing the ejecting. And then the force of the cassette coming up pops that up, and then I think it rests right on these two little pins here. And that's, that's pretty much that. And for connections up on the top, you got your very, actually it'd be easier to read it like this. Not that you can read it very well, but you got the volume. Turning it up, turning it down, the volume wheel. Everybody likes your volume wheels. You got the standard 3.5 millimeter headphone port. And then you have here a, what is it? That is a DC in, I think that's three volts in right here. So you can plug that into external power. And this little thing slides right off. So you can set it flat down. Or I guess you can stand it up, but why would you? Because the cord is coming out there. So you can have that as part of a minimalistic um, setup if you wanted. You could have it like that. Whatever, however you wanted it to be. And then if you wanted, want to take it on the go, you just slap it on your belt and you're the coolest kid in town in the 90s or the 80s whenever you have this so pick this up for about I picked it up for about five dollars at a uh, local thrift store or uh, antique shop it's basically where uh, everybody goes and just well it's not really it's not like a junk store it's kind of a it's an antique shop, but they sell like records and stuff like that, and uh, old cameras and old music stuff. So I've been looking for one of these for a while, 
and this just finally popped up and I bought it so don't don't skip over places like that because you, you, you'll find stuff like this and uh, I've bought like several records and stuff like this from uh, places like that antique store and uh, places like Salvation Army or Savers or Goodwill places like that so don't skip over those places just because they're you know they don't always have you know what you are looking for just because they don't have what you're looking for today doesn't mean they won't have what you're looking for tomorrow so again this is the Panasonic uh, RQJ50 stereo cassette player uh, this is actually pretty interesting so I would recommend trying to find one of these for yourself if you're interested or really any uh, cassette player portable cassette player I don't want to say Walkman because I think Walkman was a trademark of Sony so uh, if you can find your own portable cassette player uh, that would be cool I th for me the older the better I, it, not that I don't like the new stuff it's just the, the old stuff is just perfect because like it came out at that time when this stuff was like at its peak you know when cassettes were at their peak that's when this stuff comes out and that's you know he had, had like 10 companies here like Sony, Panasonic and a bunch of other companies making stuff and they're all different so kind of like stuff like that so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.